Hello everyone, my name is Leo with Super Tech. Today we're going to be doing a video with regards to an Xbox Series S that I recently purchased uh, from eBay. Actually made a $200 offer. Um, I ended up paying about $237 with the shipping cost. Uh, if you could see right in this area, you should see the listing basically right there. The, the console itself was basically listed stating that uh, the issue with it was a broken HDMI port. And we're going to attempt to actually fix this console um, so that we can, of course, sell it. And if any of you are actually interested in purchasing this console as well, I will put the listing actually on my uh, Facebook Marketplace and offer up. I'll put the links in the description below where you can go. If it's still up, if you click on the link, you should be able to see it. If it's already sold, then you'll see a sold sign on it. Uh, but other than that, this is actually my first time repairing the Xbox Series S console. I have yet to actually repair an Xbox Series X, um, but I, I have seen videos, I, I won't lie, I have seen a couple of videos with regards to this console being uh, taken apart and open. It's a very simple process. Now, what I got with this console, of course, it is the console. I also got the controller with it, and I did get the wires, which is just uh, the uh, power cable, and the HDMI cable. Um, I did not get the original box with it, uh, but this is all I actually got uh, with this particular console. That being said, let's go ahead and tear down this uh, console and uh, yeah, start repairing it. All right, so this console, I don't know if you guys can actually tell, it has already been opened before. The uh, warranty stickers have been removed. And it, this, I'll uh, repair this console. I don't know if you can actually tell how small this console is. It's actually pretty small. We're gonna zoom in to the AC mount port. That way you can actually see that the AC mount port itself, it is actually broken. You see those bent pins there? Those bents, those pins right there for that AC mount port. You can actually already tell that they are broken. I, I did buy the right HDMI port for the uh, Series S. <coughs> I actually ordered it off of Amazon. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon for $10, and that's only because I needed it right away, and I needed to get it within, the, within like a day or two. So by the time this console got here, I actually had the part. But I've already placed an order as well with uh, AliExpress which I will also leave a link below. I do not have any affiliation with Ali, AliExpress, but if you're interested in actually buying uh, some of these ACMI ports, I will leave a link below. That way it'll direct you to where I actually got them from as well. So that being said, let's go ahead and open up this console um, and let's get, with the, let's get on with this repair. Alrighty, we've got all the bolts taken off. It's ready for it for us to be able to just lift this up. We've got it lifted, and now we've got an axis here for fan power supply. As you can see, the fan is also dirty, and I'm cleaning along the way so that I don't have to do it when I'm putting it back together. Might as well get it over with now. Alrighty, 
we've cleaned the fan out. Now, next thing we're gonna take out, it is gonna be this power supply, but before we do that, we do have to take these bolts off to do that, which is the silver bolts. Those are gonna be T9. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our T9 torque and start getting these off. One of the things I like, of course, that there isn't a lot of bolts here. Definitely, definitely love that. Alrighty, now that we've gotten the bolts taken off, this should be pretty easy and simple. We're going to go ahead and take the, should be the power supply. Pretty easy and simple. We've got the thermal paste here. Oh, I've got some dust mites already there. Thermal paste here. Uh, it's not the regular type of thermal paste. This is the, uh, forgot what it's called. Uh, oh man. Honestly, I've got it in my list. Uh, I don't remember what type of thermal paste. Um, I'll put I'll put it on the actual video itself, the type of thermal paste it is, but it is thermal paste. Um, and I also put the link down in the description below. Um, I do see some dust mites, but let's go ahead and take this fan off as well. It's a pretty, pretty big uh, fan. Basically takes half of the, the case. Come on, this fan does not want to come off, and I do not want to tear these wires at all. Okay. Grabbing uh, some pliers to be able to grab the fan connector. Wiggle it side to side. There we go. We got the fan out. And I do see some dust here along the actual heat sink itself. Let's go ahead and get that cleaned. All right, heat sink is clean. We do, I do see some claps here that I need to take off. It's the first time you see in this type of clap um, how exactly is, is this clamp removed? Oh, uh oh, I accidentally dropped that. All right, so it just lights up. There was nothing too major as what I expected. All righty, let's go ahead and uh, take out the board off of here. Board is out. And now we are down basically to the board and the heat sink itself. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this heat sink, heat sink off of here. Now I will say this, if you guys actually do not have these two, which I will leave a link in the description below. If you do repairs, I do suggest you actually get it. It's actually really easy and simple to remove this uh, the X plant using this. Uh, really, really, really easy and simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot, you know, normally what I would do is use, uh, uh, the, <clears throat> my T driver and I would put a flathead on it and I would literally attempt to pry this up, but there is a tool that exists and makes, makes things a whole lot easier rather than having to pry things and damaging the board. You literally don't put a lot of force. We just put this in between here. You lift up, and it's that easy and simple. It's already it's already out. Voila! All right, let's go ahead and turn this board around once again. Let's go ahead and take this heat sink. And we are going to replace this thermal paste that's on here as well. Heat, 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 heat sink is out. And 
let's go ahead and get this HDMI port replaced. So let's go ahead and get our uh, microscope. Okay, let's get under the microscope so we can see exactly what the damage is. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this port removed. First things first, we're gonna put some uh, flux. All right, we've added flux, and now we're gonna go ahead and get our let it solder. I mean, not let it solder, a low melt solder. Get a hot iron ready to 750 Fahrenheit. And let's go ahead and start this process. One of the, I forgot one of the major components. My fume extractor. Forgot the most important component. Alrighty, let's go ahead and turn the board around, adding some flux. Alrighty, we've got flux on here now. We're gonna go ahead and add some low melt solder. All right, so my airflow for my heat air gun, it is set to 715. Uh, Sorry, it's set to 100, uh, 115%, my apologies. Um, and then the heat is set to 715 Fahrenheit. Actually 750 Fahrenheit. I'm actually gonna put some air from up top first to heat up to warm up the board. And now I'm going to slowly start going towards the bottom and start melting the, the low melt solder. I'm not sure why this HDMI port was not coming out, but it was literally stuck there. It's out now. Let's go ahead and clean these pads while it's uh, while it's hot. We're gonna add some. Normally, I use wick. But I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, solder, a, a solder sucker I have here. Let's see if uh, if it does any uh, if it does any good work. Let's go ahead and clean up the mess I've made. All 
Alrighty. Let's go ahead and clean the pins on the other side. Alrighty, so now that we've removed uh, all the solder off of here, I'm going to warm this up a little bit so we can put in the new. So this is the new, and I, I actually I, I may have to, because I think those these pins here work as ground chips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put let it solder on here. Because let it solder is it's a lot faster to actually melt. And I'm going to put some on these pins as well, which would make it easier to put soldering back on. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is warm up this board a bit to melt the uh, flux that's inside these holes. And let's put the let's put this HDMI port. Those pins lined up. Just put some flux on the pins. It's okay, they are currently bridged. My main goal is just to get that port attached. Okay, that's perfect. And now let's get these legs. Put some flux. And let's get the let it solder right in there. There we go. We got the legs. I'll clean that up right now here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get these other legs on the over on the right side of this port. And add some flux. All right, let's flip the board over to the other side. Do the same thing. All 
Alrighty, now let's go ahead and get these uh, pens cleaned up and make sure we don't have anything bridged. Love the way these pins look. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Alrighty, that is cleaned. Let's go ahead and put some uh, some alcohol and get my brush here. Just to make sure we get all of the flux off of here. Only thing I don't like the way it looks is these edges here. Let me zoom out a little bit. I don't like the way those edges look. So I'm gonna let me clean those up a bit. There we go. That looks a lot cleaner. Let's clean this up again. Definitely puts this uh, HDMI port a lot more firm than it was before. Alright, let's clean the bottom side. Let's warm up the bottom side just a tad bit so we can clean off the flux. Alright, bottom of the board is clean. We are going to take out this piece of cotton. And let's see if we can put these back. I don't know if they're going to stick, but we're going to try. Nope.
You get a little bit of glue. Got just a tad bit of glue that I'm going to put here. Same here. There we go. They will stay there. Other than that, we are done with replacing the HDMI port. HDMI port is completely replaced. Let's go ahead and clean my work area a little bit and start putting the console back together. This was the HDMI port we just removed. Let's go ahead and clean the uh, thermal paste. Let me put my glasses back on. Thermal paste is done on that. Let's also clean the thermal paste off of the heat sink. And I am gonna have to clean the heat sink as well from the bottom. See dust. I don't know if you guys can actually see all that dust. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this uh, heat sink from the bottom. Alrighty, heat sink's taken care of. Let's go ahead and grab a thermal paste the thermal paste on the APU. X clamp. This X clamp, it's not staying all the way down there. Why is that?
There we go. Start putting this into the chassis. Awesome. Fan with the fan connector. There we go. And then lastly, power supply, which also needs to be clean. Okay. Power supply. Turn it around. We do have torque number eight. We're going to get to the APU first. Switch T nine. All righty. Now, before I do. Uh, put everything else back together we're gonna go ahead and test to make sure that everything is going to work the way it needs to work meaning that the uh, meaning that the HDMI port actually did it fix so I'm just gonna put these boards on just like that for now temporarily and let's go ahead and plug it in. HDMI goes in there perfectly. Power cable, awesome. Perfectly as well. Let's go ahead and switch over to our test bench. Turn on this console. Beat fan spinning. I still see no signal at the moment. Let's see if we get a display. Fans on, power is on. Still don't see anything on the screen. Could be that I uh, maybe I did mess something up because I'm not clear. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All right now, I didn't see the splash screen though. Let me turn it off again, and then turn it back on properly. I want to see the splash screen.
I don't think I'm going to see this flash screen. There we go. That's the splash screen I was looking for. Awesome. We do have this Xbox completely fixed. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and put this console back together and we'll show you what it looks like towards the end. Alrighty. I'll put the entire console back together. My apologies, I did not put the white screen on. Bolts are back on. HDMI port is in good condition. Let's go ahead and plug it back in one last time. And uh, just to test to make sure that everything is still functioning properly, no issues. Power button's right over here. Power button lit up, as you can see. And let's go ahead and switch over to TV mode. We've got the Xbox logo, which is the actual splash screen. And we're gonna sync the controller that it came with. I don't know if this thing needs batteries or not. Does it need batteries? It has energizer, energizer batteries on here already. There we go. It's not synced. So we're gonna we're gonna try to sync it. Sync button. Sync button on the console. Sync button on the console is working as well. And this thing, it's not syncing at all. There we go. It did sync. Awesome. All right, so I went ahead and reset this console, put my own profile on there. Now I've connected or uninstalled Fortnite, and let's see if it actually allows to play a game on this particular console here. Um, it being digital, of course, it makes things very, 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 oh, come on. Are you going to let me see the remainder of the agreement, or I just have to accept no matter what? Okay, let's uh, go back to it. We've gotten to Fortnite. Uh, 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 uh. I just wanna save the world, play Battle Royale. I'm just gonna do Battle Royale game. Whether I win or lose doesn't matter. Uh, the console is still on. It isn't overheating at all. There is no, I don't think I have the audio for the, uh, for the console on. Let me see if I mess with this audio real quick. Nah, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with the audio. I'm gonna skip this though. I don't want to see that. I just want it to start again. But it looks like it will allow me to play again. Game started and everything. I'm not even gonna start a game. Um, that's it for this console. This console is repaired. I am gonna clean this console up. I am gonna put it up for sale. Um, I am gonna clean this console up. It does have. A few things here and there that I need to clean up with some uh, Clorox wipes. Um, other than that, this console is basically repaired. I'm done with this console. Um, I am going to be selling it for about, I'm going to put it up for about 450. I'm going to take minimum, probably around 420, 400, being the least, nothing less than that. 
Um, other than that, if any of you guys or gals are actually interested in buying this console, feel free to message me directly and I can definitely try to do um, a deal with you. Um, alrighty, other than that, I'm done. We're out. This is Leo with Super Tech. Appreciate you watching. Peace. Y'all have a good night or a good day wherever you're at. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.